campus of UCLA. Hello, everybody. This is Rob Rossi, and this is the place to be. We finna unbox some very special eggs. Not just any eggs. These are black copper meringue. She was having a really hard time speaking. Her eyes were singing. We do have a security team with our crew. So security is there as well. These ain't your grandma's eggs. These are the special eggs. Very, very, very special eggs. It's unclear if this is a UCLA student where these people came from. Earlier in the day, UCLA. We go uh, get in there on the express in the green little bracket. Said enough is enough. You need to move out. Otherwise, you could face disciplinary action. We understand that that campus security though left, and you see the barriers that are all in disarray right now. Well, these people, uh, let's call them suspects at this point. They came in and they just were starting to dismantle the encampment. They were throwing down those barricades. We do eggs uh, right. Oh it's always easier to open it at the bottom and you're hearing the cries of the, the top. Right it's just people psychologically always take the top better than they do the bottom for some reason. The bottom has got the most pressure on it. So if it's good enough for the bottom, it's good enough for the rest. Oh no, they packed the chicken killers. These things will kill your free rangers. And we're hearing coughing, of course. This is something that we certainly didn't expect to kick things off tonight. Uh, earlier, it was a much calmer scene, scene out there. It looks like they did. Who these people the are. The little stuffy rat and a bunch of others. These things are about as maroon as our eggs are. I don't know what these AM. Oh, they got some AMs too. It's hard. It's really hard to make sense of you know what we're bringing in live on the air as our. These are the eggs my sister ordered six months ago. It doesn't look like any security. Looks about as dark as our black cup of maroon. This is a rain out of ink. Okay, so this is where the, the tent and kittens have taken over the quad at UCLA. And this has been going on, this is no, 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 six, no. and it was just today that the Chancellor of UCLA uh, came out, issued a statement, and said that we are going to change our strategy and that you do face uh, a discipline if you're not going to leave. And now you got this, the people ain't from me. Beyond that, there were some security officers brought in. Now we're seeing some people here carrying an Israeli flag, making their way into this pro-Palestinian. The microwave and just mark uh, these is, as special and put these in with the, the red. Because yeah, I thought there would be more than this. Uh, okay, LA. this is a smiley uh, face one. Like this is a very so special one. Went from to utter chaos. Yeah, we saw that statement earlier tonight, Marla, that both of us were talking about in our 6 o'clock news when the chancellor of UCLA, basically who had said almost nothing for days, put out a statement essentially saying, we're done with this. Uh, saying that this is now... That's what happened. You can't give it to terrorism. ...an illegal gathering, and it's time for it to end. So we got three, six, is what... Ten, uh, fourteen, eight. You know so my sister ordered a dozen. Uh, from she UCLA got in terms of it's time seven. to shut this thing down. This comes on the same so, day that we saw at Columbia University. University. The NYPD moved in, um, and this is the first UC school that we have seen, because we have seen other uh, demonstrations at other UC schools where the administration has now made the decision, we're moving in and we're stopping this thing. And, and that is what we're looking at tonight. It was concerning earlier in the evening. When we saw some, uh, I saw, especially online, some yeah, old I might video have enough of to some do of the demonstrators right? inside the camp appearing to prepare for potential battle with police. Chelsea was talking about this idea that some of these demonstrators... Look at our Sherman eggs. Smallest chicken in the world. We know that there are students in there who have genuine concerns Smaller about eggs. the way 
that Palestinian people are treated yeah. in Gaza. But there are other anarchists that have nothing, that really don't care that much about what's I go happening here in Gaza. Especially we have was. seen these people at different demonstrations over the years, and you are now seeing it, it on, the, on, the, on, the, on the campus of one of the great kind of universities, the most applied to university in the country, really you know, which looks like anarchists. This one ran out of heat, too, with anarchists who are in the middle of this. They are literally throwing the barriers there at each other, jousting what appears to be the middle of holes. You have to wonder yeah. where it is campus security. Go ahead and make where this are any sort of public yeah. officials? I mean, and this is... Nothing yeah. so, but our big special base. The University of California has its own police force. Uh, that and then is, when they start to hatch, uh, that has the same when they get ready the LAP, to go into the other thing, I go right ahead now. and put them and, in and a, if they a need to call in help from the LAPD, I mean, campus police have jurisdiction here, UC police, but they, they have the right to call in help from the LAPD, from the LA County Sheriff's. And this is probably I am some money. photography happen right now, photographers out there obviously photographing this. There's one gentleman who looked like to be on the phone almost as if trying to play mediator, trying to Got a gray egg. Sally Gray. Uh, pieces of I don't want to mess, I don't want to confuse all I am mean, somebody's with there, I mean with was there, look at that weird, that must be a duck egg. White egg might be a guinea egg. Surprise me if there were, just given how violent be this might be. Might be some money, became, yeah. We've seen pepper spray, we've seen the throwing. Another weird looking, duck we looking um, egg. I wish I would have seen where they came from. Dennis Here's another Zine, one. Now joining our coverage. Dennis, I want your thoughts on this as a long time, a decades long time, law enforcement officer. These are weird, weird shapes. Officers. Three officers want to say, uh, get the call. They get that they're going to send in two or three or four officers to have to form up the squad formations, have the protective equipment. They're going to come, obviously, from West Bureau. They may request assistance from the LA County Sheriff's Department, the Highway Patrol. And UCLA does have a police department. I don't know if they're mustered up, if they're prepared for this particular situation, but it'd be unsafe to send a number, a few number. You've got to send out a number of officers, massive number of officers, to protect the officers as well as to make arrests. And what we see happening uh, with this demonstration is now turned violent. Uh, we, we've seen the tear gas, we've seen the fights, uh, different hand-in-hand uh, -hand weapons. So you can't send in just a few officers. You're gonna have to mobilize a number of officers from the UCLA and the late watch. You normally don't have a lot. But we've got Metro, and they may have to call it. Looks like I got three eggs for breakfast. Whoop, whoop. That's our special area. Some weapons in the custody, but uh, you're not going to send in just a couple of officers to contain a crowd that is violent. And let y'all know we get back. Yeah, that ain't for you. Sky Fox up overhead. Hopefully we can show some of that uh, as as well. And Dennis, we have an example of police moving in on something like this just tonight. Ain't been watching. Come Remember, to oh, God, all things are possible. Get out there and live your dream. We saw an overwhelming show of force from the New York Police Department moving in to move out protesters who had essentially taken. It's an egg like baby. Uh -huh. to be relatively violent. Egg life. That can seem to be effective. This reminds me of a night which Dennis, I'm sure you remember. Maybe it was, I don't know, about a decade ago, maybe a little bit less than that, when Occupy LA, which was built hey, in the screenshot. Woo -woo. city that they had left happen. home state. Was finally God bless you now. Yeah, the